across the street. Grab your skates with a friend or a loved one to have your very own ice capade during the holiday season. The man who was once called the second coming of Brian Botano, Gary Gelfand, is on the go downtown Sacramento ice rink to show off his triple axle. Gary, you ready or are you just going to drive the Zamboni around? Ah, I'd rather do the Zamboni. I, most, I much would rather do that. All right. It's like, it's like blades, uh, blades of glory out here. And it's so much fun because if you come out, you see all, everybody out there skating. You will not see me skating uh, this morning um, because I pretty much hung up the skates. I went down a couple times and I'm like, eh, I don't need to really need to go down anymore. Although it is safe. It is a lot of fun. But the ice rink is officially open today. We'll tell you. I think it's about 2 o'clock it opens today. So 2 o'clock you can come on down and check it out for the first time. It's going to run all the way through January. But it's like a party out here. I mean, I want to show you this before we go say hi to Madeline. Look at this. 106.5 The End is out here reporting. This is the most amazing thing ever. They were going live. Look at this. It's Gavin. It's Katie. And Kevin's around somewhere on the ice rink. Hey, he's over there somewhere. Oh, here he is. He's over there. So uh, you guys are out. I was going to say hi because you guys are friends of the show. Yeah. How, how's it going out here this morning? It's so fun. So, yeah. Oh, my God. It's so fun. Now, there are children showing us up, and yeah. I don't appreciate yeah. that very much. Let me ask you this, yeah. though. Uh, ask Gary, uh, which one of us has not fallen on the ice? You me. and me, because we didn't have the skates <laughs> on. These guys do. I haven't fell. Yeah, yes, you haven't you fallen yet? No, I didn't. All right, this is what it's all about. You get arguments, you get a lot of... Listen to these guys every morning, will you? Because they're a blast. I love these guys. All right, now we go over here because we got to say hi to Madeline. And like I mentioned, it's just nothing but fun out here. When you come out, we can do it all winter long. Isn't that right, Madeline? That is absolutely right. We are open today through January 15th, so you have plenty of time. Lots of time to do this. Lots all right, now we're looking at something on the ice right now, too. Yes. This is the opening act, pretty much, right? Yes, yes. So we have Jennifer Jones Ice Theater performing today for our grand opening. They perform every year. The kids are amazing. They have such great performances, very professional, and then it's open to the public. And ready to go. So when we come in, we get our ticket, and then you give us a cool thing. You give us skates with our ticket, right? Yes, every ticket comes with a pair of skates. Everything is included. You can also additionally rent scooters for very low cost. You can rent lockers if you so need. Um, so it's a really great experience that you can just off skate and enjoy. I love this. And it's great for this area. You build the ice, you know, and it lasts for a couple of months, two and a half months or so. And the businesses around here are going to thrive from that as well. Yeah, it's great for us to be able to host something for the community. And all of these businesses, new businesses, existing businesses, for example, Busher and Barrel just opened a couple weeks ago. And we're really excited to have a lot of these businesses offer either discounts to skaters or special offers to skaters as well. So don't forget to visit the places around the ice rink. you got to have a lot of fun. And we were just having a little bit of fun with, you know, Gavin and Katie and Kevin from the wake-up call. They were out there skating. Gavin didn't skate, neither did I. But, I mean, it's a safe thing. And if you don't know how to skate, it's okay because you could learn out here probably, too. Yeah. You don't need to be a great skater. Yeah, a lot of the people who actually work the ice rink are also certified instructors, so they can also teach you how to skate. It's so nice. And then if you look over here, skate return, skate pickup. How you doing, guys? Good to see you. See, there's a lot of people out here that are going to help you get everything ready to go. You select your skates. This is the little rental center that they call it. Over here, you can put your skates on and relax. we got some more performers getting ready to go right there, too. And then uh, are you guys going to skate? Yeah. Do, do you ice skate? No. Do you want to ice skate? No. No, I don't know. I'm kind of like you. How long have you been skating? Um, a few years? Like, uh... I started when I was four, but then I took a two-year break. Oh, she, she knows it. She took a little break, you know, all the kicks. And how about you? How long have you been skating? I started when I was really small, but then I didn't like it, so I stopped for like five years. <laughs> I started when I was like eight. Eight, okay. The simple question, oh, and they, they tell a whole long story because they're so great at what they do. Oh, my goodness. All right, here, we got more out here as well, too. I'm going to go on the ice just because I said I would, and there's a good chance I can go down because I don't have the proper shoes on. But this is what you do. When you get on the ice, you just go low if you don't have your skates on. So in case I go down, I'm good to go. I got the Jordans on. That's about all I can do. Am I doing good? They, I stole her ribbon earlier. All right, I'm going to send it back to you. I'm on the ice downtown. All Gary, right, back to you. Gary's got so the hockey fun. stance ready to go. Brace with the knees. That's right. Keep bent. Keep limber, Eddie. <laughs> Keep limber, Gary. Ah, oh, Gary, thank you. Be careful. Careful getting off the ice there. Gary, thank you. All right, uh, 926 right now. Local